let us discuss this question number one from hots of chapter parallel lines so here you can see that uh, in this figure line q is parallel to line p and line l is parallel to line m okay and uh, here this angle is given to be 50 degrees and this angle is 110 degrees and we have to find the value of x y and z so let us see how we can solve this question so first of all i am considering two lines l and line q so line l and q are intersecting lines and you can see that when two lines intersect then four angles are formed and vertically opposite angles are equal so you can see that these are the two vertically opposite angles so they will be equal so one angle is given to be 110 degrees so what will be the measurement of angle one yes angle one will be 110 degrees so you write down the reason vertically opposite angles okay now observe line l and line m they are parallel to each other right it is given and we see q is transversal what relationship do you see in angle 1 and y angle 1 and y very good angle 1 plus y is making a pair of co-interior angles and we know that co-interior angles are supplementary so angle 1 plus y will be 180 degrees you write down the reason and y will be equal to 180 minus angle 1 and angle 1 is 110 so 180 minus 110 that gives us 70 degrees so value of y is 70 degrees i hope it is clear up to this we have found the value of y now we are considering lines q and p they are parallel to each other right and assume this m as transversal so you will see that this angle y and I am marking an angle here. It is again making a pair of co-interior angles. So what can you say about the marked angle? L let us say this is angle 2. Yes, marked angle 2. So y plus 2 will be equal to 180 degrees. So what is angle 2? 180 minus 70 because y is 70. So that gives us 110 degrees. Okay, we have found angle 2. Angle 2 is 110 degrees. With the help of this, can you tell me what will be this angle now? If I mark this as angle 3. Some of you might be thinking this angle 3 we could have directly found yes you can do that as well if, if that is coming to your mind that if you take these two parallel lines and uh, you take transversal m then y and this angle 3 they are making corresponding angles and you know that corresponding angles are equal just observe their locations these are corresponding angles isn't it and corresponding angles are equal so we can directly say that uh, this uh, angle 3 is 70 degrees so angle 3 comes out to be 70 degrees so now you observe this triangle i am talking about uh, this triangle and in this triangle, you will see that Z plus angle 3 
plus 50 degrees will be equal to 180 degrees. Tell me the reason. Yes, angle sum property. So, can you find Z now? What will be Z? Z will be 180 minus, what is angle 3? You have found it is 70 and 70 plus 50 that is 120. So, 180 minus 120 is 60. So, what is the value of Z? Value of Z is 60 degrees. Okay, you have found Y. Y is 70 degrees. Z is 60 degrees. Now finally we need to find the value of X. Observe these two parallel lines. Again P and Q. And now I am taking this line as transversal. We can name this R. This is the transversal. So what can you say about angle X? Just observe the location. X and Z. What kinds of angles are getting formed? Yes, they are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. So, X will be equal to Z. You write down the reason. Corresponding angles. But please write down that you are taking the parallel lines P and Q and R is transversal. So, what will be the value of X? Good. X will be 60 degrees. So, I hope this question is clear to all of you. So, we have found the value of Y 70 degrees. Then uh, Z is 60 degrees and X is 60 degrees.